Welcome, this is your North Complex Sheep Fire update for Monday, August 24th. In Plumas County, a fire train has been deployed in Plumas National Forest to help extinguish fires in remote areas in the North Complex Fire. The fire train is a Union Pacific locomotive with a water tank car that pumps out water in needed fire zones. The fire, which is part of the North Complex Fire, burned actively on Sunday afternoon and evening heading downhill and spreading significantly on the east side in the Wingfield Road area. Overnight there was some spotting east of Highway 395 and south of Lake Levitt and these small fires were be monitored closely. Folks if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe ring the bell so you can receive future updates and hit the thumbs up button and share this video out. And be safe out there. The sheep fire in Plumas and Lassen County grew about 2,000 acres in the night to encompass 25,574 acres according to the Plumas National Forest. The fire still has zero containment. It doesn't mean that firefighters ain't fighting the fire, they're just cutting fire lines around it. Plumas National Forest says that while there was fire was spread, fire crews were able to stop the blaze from reaching the Diane Drive area and Highway 395 on the west side. Fire crews were also able to keep the fire out of Gold Run, Hidden Hills, Susan Hills, and the Susanville city limits on the northwest side of the sheep fire. Things got pretty hectic here in Susanville. Yesterday a lot of people was packing up their stuff, getting the evacuation stuff set up, but the fire mostly didn't come through town. It sort of went around it on the outer edges, but it still was pretty intense at times. All of Gold Run Road, Wingfield Road, these are road closures, and Richmond Road from just past Circle Drive to Hospital Lane are all closed according to the Plumas National Forest. They might have reopened up since then, but I haven't heard any updates on it yet. Today there still is a red flag warning. Plumas National Forest warns that there is still a red flag warning in effect for gusty outflowing winds and dry lightning. This warning will continue until Tuesday morning at the earliest. It's a little windy down here in Susanville right now. A lot of ash still falling out of the sky. This is not only a concern for new fires to rage up, also to spread as heavy winds could push the blazes further. Well, this concludes the sheep fire update for Monday, August 24th. Again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and ring the bell so that you can receive future updates on these fires and other news. And please hit the thumbs up and share this video out if you can. The most important thing is be safe out there, be courteous. Beware of all the firefighters out there and first responders out there that are doing such a great job. Until next time, take care.